Coda Beach, where our earth tribe of hippies gathers every sunset to celebrate existence. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Surf introduces me to the Swami. Hallucinanda? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Handsome man. Tall. Fully bearded. LSD guru. He's 32 years old. You'll still listen to him a little bit. Uh, the infamous Gridley Wright himself. <clears throat> Swami Hallucinanda travels with two girlfriends. <laughs> yeah. Cheetah. <laughs> and Panther. <clears throat> Cheetah 17. Huh? Dazzling. Dripping with like a 17 year old sexuality, budding teenager, cheetah. Yeah, an older panther. I, I suspect she's bankrolling, <laughs> insanely rich and uh, catatonic most of the time. Mm. Uh, Hope the Swami doesn't notice my heart on. Checking on cheetah, naked cheetah, that pussy. Uh, yeah, I readjust my, uh, re readjust my sarong because <laughs> it's getting a pointy toward cheetah. Well, the Swami addresses me uh, by burping. Oh. And he leaves me for uh, acid trips on the spot. And... Uh, says, look, uh, oh, hi, Earth man. Uh, welcome to our Earth tribe of the my kingdom of Kuda, where we enjoy free erotic existence. Uh, these four LSD trips, yeah, White Crystal, West Coast, California, I'm turning on the whole island to 8,000 trips of Sunshine Barrel. I had my nephew fly over <laughs> from San Francisco with 8,000 tabs on his body. Flew alone <laughs> to see Uncle Gridley. Made it safely. Yeah, oh, I'm turning on the whole island for the good of mankind, man. Uh, yeah, Balinese cockfighters, hotel managers, hippies, anybody that will open their mouth, turn them on. Mm -hmm. And look, uh, Earthman, I just want to tell you one thing. Like, man, never forget to watch the sunset, man. And the Swami concludes his welcome by <laughs> burping up again and saying, oh. Wow, by the end of my first month in Bali, I sell a kilogram of my Sumatran butts for how much? A whole one hundred dollars. Lots of money around here. I upgrade my bungalow to a handcrafted uh, a Balinese little miniature palace on stilts in a palm tree grove of coconut trees. Uh, I strut around. Mm -hmm. I'm a hippie prince, 24. Check the six pack, huh? Checks. Um, yeah. Enjoying exotic fruit, Sumatran buds, California LSD. And, oh, LSD. Yeah. <laughs> I make a little deal with the Swami. 200 trips of LSD for a kilogram of Sumatran buds. I mean, I got to hustle a little bit. You know, I'm on my own now. I don't have Rainbow's uh, big water traveler's checks to back me up anymore. Okay. Kind of got to do my own thing, generate a little energy. 
Oh. Why am I so restless? Oh. Full moon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Full moon. I'm, I got to get out. Uh, I think I'm going to go over to that house across the river where the hippie magicians uh, have a commune house. Yeah. Uh, there's no electricity here. 50 years ago. <laughs> uh, I, I wade across a small stream and enter the house of the hippie uh, warlocks and warlock s's witches hippie witches so sexy when they fuck uh oh captain coke is back from java already uh well it turns out that captain coke uh, a young balinese yachtsman who uh transformed into a hippie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what happened to him? Yeah, his yacht, ravaged by wormwoods, sank. You know, I mean, just got out of Jakarta Harbor like for 15 minutes and blub, 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 down went his, you know, kind of dream boat. But who cares? I mean, he only got the boat so he could score... Official Indonesian's captain's papers, because if you're a captain, you're in a storm, you're, you know, somebody needs a leg amputated, you need the cocaine to, you know, so if you've got the captain's papers, you can go to, into any Javanese drugstore and uh, just buy across the counter pure cocaine. We're talking Merck, Germany, pharmaceutical pure flake in 10 gram bottles for like 50 cents oh we're glad to see captain coke back oh yeah my eyes can't get used to the dark i mean these magicians should and i slid skid whoops I almost uh, lose it on the intersection in the living room because these guys have, you know, greased it up with so many pentagrams. You ever skid through an intersection of pentagrams by a bunch of Crowley freaks? Take it easy around those guys. Huh? Uh, oops, I knock over a whole stack of Kabbalahs that they have teeth marks in them. They've been chewing on their Kabbalahs. By now I'm on my hands and knees, okay? And I crawled into a corner. Oh, off gun fur blanket. Oof, okay. Oh, backed up by a reel to reel tape recorder. Huge. Reel to. You probably don't know what that is. Uh, but there used to be a lot of them around. It was like the best sound system. And they got it hooked up to a car battery. I mean, uh, oh, Santana, Janis Joplin, Moody Blues, yeah. Oh, good, good, good. Well, finally, Captain Coke, he lights a glass hooded lantern and the Crowley freaks out. They shield their eyes from this invasive light when they thrive in darkness. Well, uh, yeah. Now, he calms him down, the Crowley freaks. Captain Coke does, yeah, because he unseals a 10 gram bottle of that Merck Coke <coughs> from Munchen. <sighs> Strips the seal off it. Yeah. Yeah. Silence except for the sound of chop, chop, chop as the uh, razor blade chops the lines of crunchy flake into little. They're not little. <clears throat> Huge lines of pure coke, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Captain Coke, he has something important to tell us. So we all, we all. Listen up, as he says, uh, and he holds the mirror under our nose. Uh, freedom, fuckers, freedom. That's where it's at, freedom. 
Well, uh, yeah. Uh, ho, 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 rainbow's creeping onto my uh, uh, fur blanket. Freeze. Oops. Uh, and acquires uh, Earthman. Do you realize uh, what day it is? Uh, June? Rainbow unfurls her cute little hands that have made me feel so good. And in, in them are t two hits of Swami's acid in each hand. And uh, she says, look, tonight is our anniversary because we've been together for eight months now. So uh, why don't we party like we know how to do?